Grace is the love that cares and stoops and rescues. The roots of my family tree stretch back to my great-grandma Grace. For years after Grace was gone, the women in my family felt scattered and disconnected. When my grandpa passed, my mother found comfort in the hugs of her cousins, whom she had not seen in too long, considering that most of the family lives within 50 miles of each other. We were tired of simply meeting at baby showers and funerals. So daughters, granddaughters, great-granddaughters, and even great-great-granddaughters formed the Ladies of Grace. Generations of women whom I barely knew on a personal level began meeting the first Saturday of every month for special gatherings such as lunch, a tea party, and even an Easter egg hunt. At a sleepover in a Hickory Hotel, I watched in amazement as my great aunt Betty cut loose and danced. We did the electric slide, played games, and most importantly, we laughed. We laughed at childhood stories, our crazy antics, and even each other. I took the time to laugh with my memo and her two remaining sisters-in-law as we all cherished the time we had together. On the last trip I would ever take with my great aunt Lil, I finally saw the family resemblance she shared with my grandpa and his Cherokee ancestors. I listened to my great aunt Betty tell about having a double date with a boy she had beaten up as a child. I heard deeper meaning in my own memo's story about her work as a babysitter and a blind date with her employer's brother who had returned home from the army. Her blind date became our grandpa. We are still great aunts, nieces, and cousins. We are also friends. While some of our members are now with the Lord, I can say that I not only love them, but that I also honestly knew them. I knew how they met their husbands, the problems they faced raising their children, and the sincerity of their love for me. The Ladies of Grace are not only family members who only see each other when obligated. We are shopping buddies, Facebook friends, and graceful partners in crime. That is the mystery of grace. It never comes too late.